We appreciate your choosing our theater. And to make this experience more enjoyable for everyone, we hope you'll refrain from talking during the show. Thank you. Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. You're watching Fear Fanatics. Scary videos from the web. Leave a comment for more videos like this one. Number five. Hello, how are ya? Tonight, we're camping at a local park. I'm gonna go off the trail into the woods. We're camping stealthily because everyone's always like, why not stealth camp at a campground or a park or something? So that's what I'm doing. Your suggestion, that's what you're getting. Sam is a stealth camping master, outdoorsman, and angler from Cleveland, Ohio. Some of Sam's subscribers suggested that he stealth camp at a park. Two miles into the woods all by himself. Let's see how that goes. Sam already appears to be spooked. He seems to be hearing noises already. Or maybe he just has an uneasy feeling that somebody's watching him. So that took a little longer than I normally would have taken and normally would have liked to. Got our little humble abode for the evening. One man bivy tent. Like I said, I'm gonna tuck that probably up against this tree flat and I'll put the pelly case inside of it. So it'll be behind the tree. So anyone that walks up, anyone that comes back here probably will not see me from afar. Probably, but not definitely. I don't know why, I'm just spooked. I haven't been saying that, but I've been spooked since I got here. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. And then seeing that person. I know it's a public park, but still. All right, well, darkest hours of the day. I'm pretty much settled in. Everything's organized, put away. Gonna take the Pelly case inside with me. I don't know, I just have this strange feeling back here. Somebody else walked by. I don't think they saw me, but they were close enough to where they could see me. Obviously it was a person, looked like a dude. It's very eerie out here. Everything's all wet. It should be nice and dry in here. Sam gets ready for a long night in the woods in his tent, but little does he know Close this. someone's lurking around. I'm not gonna lie, it's the perfect length for me. So we're gonna relax for a while. There's somebody, hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. At this point, Sam is just trapped inside of his tent, but he does have a knife. They're getting closer, hang on. I don't like this at all, I'm spooked. Hello? 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 All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're touching my tank. Stop. Hello, I'm in here. Hello? 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 Right, I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? Hello? 
I don't know what the this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? I have a knife. Where's my knife? You're with me. You're with me here. Holy crap. Get away. What do you want? All right, I'm getting out of here. We're getting the hell out of here. They collapsed my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. I think they went this way. I see you. Get away! All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on the wall. Getting out of here right now. They're just standing there. They're just standing there. What do you want? Leave me alone! They went over that way. I can't see them now. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I have a knife. I'm going to call 911 if you come near me. Should I just call the police now or do I just go? I'm just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm scared to go in any direction. I don't know where to go. I'm recording all of this. All right, they're moving again. I don't know, I'm getting out of here. We're going. I'll come back for this some other time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm leaving, don't follow me. I don't know where to go. I don't know which way to get out of here. I can hear you. I hear you. Sam takes off running, but he's running in the wrong direction. He doesn't know it yet. All right, I don't know which way to go. How the hell do I get out of here? All right, Excuse me. I don't know how to get out of here. All right, this is, this is How the f do I get out of here? Hang on, let me see if they're. Stay away from me! They're coming behind me. I don't know what they're doing. They could just be around. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. They're at my campsite. I see them. I see you reflecting off my tent. Leave my shit alone! How do I? Which way? Here. Okay. One of them's following me. One of them. Okay, here's the trail of some kind. Sam's got a long way to run back to the woods to the car. Leave me alone! Okay. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Ow! 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 Oh, I just ate Ow! I'm in brickers. Okay. Ow! Both Ow! Ow! What the f- Okay. I don't see or hear anybody. Alright, this is a clearing here. I just tripped over that. Ow! Oh, my knee. Sam falls again on the ice, but he doesn't right, know the guys are right behind him on the trail. The main trail. I don't know where they are. I think I... It's all foggy up here. I got water in my headlamp. I need to... I don't know where to go. I don't... I hear them coming. I can... can't see the shadow. Here's a path. Okay. Get me the... I'm recording all of this! I'm calling up police! Get away from me! All right, we're back. It okay. seems like Sam's living out his worst nightmare in his very own horror movie, Running Through the Woods, from two crazy people. Ow, 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 I'm soaked. I'm soaked. Oh God, oh, it's the fourth time. I swear, if, if I had a firearm, I probably would have used it by now. Oh my god, my nerves are shot. I'm driving. Oh my god. I'm close. Got it. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. My ankle and my knee. Got water in it. My phone is soaked. I'm scared. Not anymore. I'm still scared, but... I was far back there. About five minutes from the car now, but I'm in the big clearing off the path. We're right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! 
I can see you. Just as Sam thinks he's safe in the clearing, he spots one of the guys on the trail behind him. Oh, and then get, he takes off bigger. running towards Sam. Let's get bigger. All right, let's get the f here. I don't know if they're like after me or something or what the f happening. We're getting the f here. It's getting bigger. They're coming this way. Holy I don't like this. I'm calling the police. There's another car here. Okay. This is. This is. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. I'm terrified. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm shook. All right. The next morning, Sam goes back to his campsite to retrieve his stuff. Surprisingly, it's still there. I think somebody does kind of hide out back here. I don't know if it's all the time, but uh, safety first. If you feel like you gotta go, just go. I don't regret it or feel bad about it for one second. So, so if they didn't want his camping gear, what did they want? Number four. YouTuber Love Sundays is about to share with us his scary solo van camping nightmare. There's a lot of like weird nature noises. Oh, I'll tell you what I did bring actually. I've got a little lantern. I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, a, bit, a little bit freaky. And you'd think the lights would make it better, but it doesn't, it just <laughs> Sorry, I got freaked out then. It just makes all eyes be on you. So if there's anything in here, there's only gonna be animals and things, but you just have no idea. Angry badger or something, but it just might jump out on me. But when you've got the light on, and as soon as you look out there, turn your torch off, it is literally pitch black. And something could be behind me right now, and there's no way of me knowing. Maybe there is somebody behind you. But anyway, I'm going to head back to the van like a coward. I've never been one to be afraid of the dark, but ever since I was a kid watching the Blair Witch Project, always made the woods at night very scary. Which is weird, because when I was like 16, I used to like go camping in the woods with my mates. We used to pitch tents. But there's a group of you then, and it's not as scary. But, but now, when you're on your own, well... I've got you guys, haven't I? He heads back to the van and starts getting ready for bed. But that's when things start getting freaky. Ugh, cozy. All being well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. A car's just pulled up. And it sounds like they're walking around the van. Just kidding. Here's the creepy part. <sighs> so, I was just woken up because I could hear, I heard a car pull up and it was, it was at the front of the van. So I got up, turned my phone on and filmed. And as soon as I drew the curtains back, they drove off. They got to the end of the road, turned around, and then came back and parked behind the van. I think I would climb in the front seat at this point and just drive off. But then we wouldn't have this scary video to show you.
What a miserable day. When he wakes up and gets dressed to go outside, the door won't open. My door's stuck. What the actual Someone zip tied his doors closed. So here's, it was obviously just people wanting to f about and just be funny, I guess, but how dangerous is that? Locking someone in their van. Now this is interesting. I didn't actually notice this at the time, but if you look at that fuel cap there, there's fingerprints. So now I'm wondering, was their intention to steal my diesel? And if so, did they cable tie the doors so that they could make a quick getaway if they got rumbled. But they're obviously not very intelligent thieves because anyone would know on these transit vans, you have to open the passenger door to allow you to actually open the flap to get to the diesel. Let's hope all they wanted was some diesel fuel and not a late night solo van barbecue. Number three. This video comes to us from YouTuber Creepy Outdoors. Creepy Outdoors is doing a solo overnight camp when he decides to go walking through the woods. What he hears that night, he'll never forget. Dead forest indeed. Dead quiet here as well. No life. Let's see how this place looks like without any lights. <laughs> Pitch black. Imagine being out here. Pitch black. Lost in the forest. Hell, at this point, best thing you can do is just Hold up against the tree and just wait for the morning. What else could you do in this darkness? It's also easy to imagine all kinds of things out here. I should get back to camp soon. Well, if he wasn't paranoid before, he surely will be now. I'm not even sure if he knows which way he's going at this point. There's a trail here. He decides not to take the trail and continues through the woods. Wow. 
I'm telling you guys, there's so many dead trees here. This is one of the creepiest forests I've ever been. And I'll be spending the night here. Which is always fun. Holy crap. I mean, look at this. Ginormous tree. Just falling down. This place is a mess. I'm pretty sure camp is uh, back this way. Should have brought a GPS. Jesus. Ooh. I'm not sure if you guys ever seen the Blair Witch Project, but damn, this is just giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. Super cool. <laughs> wow. This place is so lonely. Imagine just being lost out here. It feels like this would never end. Oh, fuck. Oh, hi. Just as he thought he was alone what having a conversation hell? with the camera, a girl screams out in the middle of the woods. I need to get out of here. Oh, boy. His reaction was pretty calm. Ooh. Most people would have been running in the other direction. Okay. That was fucking creepy. I need to get out of here. Ooh. Okay. Talking about Wish Blair Project. I need to get back to camp. It could have been campers, but this area is extremely secluded. I need to get back to camp. It's extremely important now that I don't get lost. Disoriented? Yes. Lost? No. I should be fine. <sighs> well, if that is not the definition of creepy, then I don't know what it means. I was literally just talking about Witchbelly Project. <sighs> and then the creepiest, and I mean the creepiest fucking voice of what I would imagine a wish to sound like just as I see you huh? I'm either extremely unlucky or very fortunate to have recorded this this video is the last time anybody ever heard from creepy outdoors just kidding he made it back to camp Well, now that I'm back, might as well have a cool one.
but I'm not sure if he actually stayed the night. Number two. This video called Terrifying Video Audio Captured While Camping captures some creepy voices in the woods that don't really sound human. It sounds more like a Bigfoot. And these three friends capture everything on video. Let's take a listen. I hear that? Get Trevor. Austin, get the light. Hey! That was not an elk. I don't know about you guys, but if I heard those noises, I'd be in the truck and out of the camp. Everybody, get in my truck! I hear that? I hear that? What do you think these noises are, Bigfoot or something else? Let me know in the comments. This video reminds me of a different video from 1971. We're going to take a look at that video right now. But before we do that, now's a good time to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload to Fear Fanatics. Go ahead, I'll wait. Number one. Back in 1971, Ron Morad and his friends took a camping trip in the Sierra Mountains. They recorded these sounds deep in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, and Ron's audio has been widely studied and scientifically analyzed, and is the best known evidence of vocal communication between multiple Bigfoot. What do you guys think about this? Some people believe that the recordings capture authentic vocalizations of Sasquatch or Bigfoot creatures. But these sounds have not been definitely proven or disproven. Most of the stuff happened in the evening time, just the dusk, nighttime, like now. The first time I ever heard anything was later in 71. I came back up with the guys and, and uh, we was here by the stove. There was a stove here then. <laughs> and uh, as soon as it starts getting dark, we'd go in. Sometimes you might hear a grunt or a whoop or a big blowing sound or something like that, and that's when you know you want to get inside the shelter because you still don't know what you're dealing with. Whatever it is, it's big, very, very big. We all go inside, close the shelter door, and that's a log that we put between these trees, and then we'd strap it inside a cable, and then, uh, then they would start making their sounds. And that was in 71 when I first started hearing them, and we started recording them. Oh, 
across the creek at the big rocks. talking about maybe having to shoot our way out. You're just sitting there, all of you are, are kind of petrified. Keep in mind, these guys are miles and miles up into the Sierra Nevada mountains. There's nobody around. So what exactly is making these noises? They don't know. Please help the channel grow by subscribing. You can also be a huge help by liking the video and commenting. If you like these videos, visit our channel to browse other content and hit the notification bell to get notified every week when we upload a new video. Until next time, sweet dreams and happy nightmares.